Hi Marcus here. Uh, I picked up the other day that we haven't done a video on shrinks. So let's quickly run through shrinks. Um, so let's assume that we have a customer. He sells nuts or pecan nuts specifically in 100 gram packets. All right, he's created his product and let's go in there quickly. All right, so we all just call the product pecan nuts per 100 gram and we buy or he buys uh, the pecan nuts in a kilo. So he buys 10 from the supplier. In other words, one kilogram will be 10 packs and he would like to sell them in packets of 100 gram each. In other words, he divides them up and so on. And we would like to set that up automatically. All right, now we don't have a shrink here of the quantities that we want to do so i'll just click on the little block here and make up our own shrinks and i'll say well fine one is obviously 100 gram we also want to sell in a packet of two which is 200 gram we want to sell maybe in fives and we also want to sell in a kilo which is then 10 packs and we add that as a shrink all right and then i can go and select it so let's just go down there and as you can see, I've got 1 times 2 times 5 times 10. In other words, the same item, I can sell at a packet of single, which is 100 gram, 200 gram, 500 gram, and a kilo. All right, as soon as I go to uh, my pricing, the system will automatically calculate it for me and say there's my items. So for a single packet, I'll sell it at 250 rand, argument's sake. Uh, for uh, 200 gram, might be a different price. In other words, I'll sell that at a discounted price of 480. And again, these are just fictitious amounts. I don't know if that's a real price for pecan nuts. I'm sorry. All right, and 500 gram will be five times that. So that'll be, let's call it 999, 1,000 rand for a, for a uh, 500 gram, which seems quite expensive, but never mind. And again, one kilo of that would uh, I would charge for arguments like 1,450 rand, just for sake of an argument. All right, then there's my my pricing then for that. That will allow me in the point of sale to obviously then select which item, which of the pecan nuts do I want to sell. Now it goes one step further. If I go and click on the barcodes, and please do, because otherwise you have duplicates. You'll see the system has not allocated barcodes automatically there. You can go and say build barcode and it will populate it automatically for you. In other words, it will make its own barcodes for you. It's a typical 13 digit barcode and you will be able to print labels for it etc etc okay all right so we're going to go out of there and i'm going to say exit you want to run the update yes thank you and it will run through the update automatically all right so <clears throat> once we've done the update point of sale we we'll get to the point of sale screen we can press f1 for search for my pick and nuts argument's sake and let me just do it manually and uh, i just select my pick and nuts now in here you can select your shrinks whichever size you want to do or you can press the number next to the item whatever the case may be. Um, so let's say I select a single. Now the nice thing about 4 um, obviously the clever thing about 4 if I now go and change the quantity and I say well arguments like I want 5 of those all right, or the customer has uh, decided to take 5. If I select 5 as you can see it's still using the single or the 100 gram price. Uh, but when I press F10 for subtotal or tender, then it will automatically go and convert the item into a five pack or five of those at a later, later price then of 9.99, which is the real benefit. All right, let's finalize this sale. And the same concept uh, obviously applies to, um, I've got an option here to say, ask for order number, serial number. Um, and yes, thank you, finalize the sale. All right, there's no till, and it will then ring it up as five pack of 100 grams for me. All right, um, the same applies if you want to do arguments like castle cans or whatever the case be, or any beer or uh, um, other items or cold drinks or something like that. So exactly the same concept. Um, you can ring it up as, as a 12 pack. Uh, very important, just at the bottom here, you'll see that shrink building is on, meaning that the system will automatically will build shrinks for you. So even if I take a, a, a dozen of castle and I say two of those, in other words, two dozen, uh, the system will automatically go and calculate that. Now let's complicate it a little bit and say I also want to do the same for arguments like Coke and Coke one liters. I want to do arguments like um, two of those all right and that's all I want to do so as soon as I press F10 for tender 
uh, the system will go and calculate. As you can see, it's taken my castles now and made it a case and charged the case price rather than two, uh, two dozen or two by 12 packs. Okay, that's how clever. Thank you. Enjoy.